Neurology quiz number 55. What is the dropped head syndrome or DHS? DHS is a rare condition resulting from weakness of the cervical paraspinal muscles or neck extensors causing inability to hold the head in an upright position. Weakness of the neck extensors initially causes inability to lift the head off the pillow. With progression, it becomes difficult to hold the head up for a long time and eventually the head drops forwards all the time so that the patient has to hold his or her chin up to see. The neck posture may interfere with activities such as eating and talking. Excessive stri strain on the neck extensors causes posterior cervical pain. This picture shows the neck extensor muscles and the dropped head posture. Dropped head syndrome is caused by weakness of the extensor muscles of the neck and this causes the chin to rest on the ch chest when sitting or standing. Most common causes are a neuromuscular. These include number one ALS. There is usually accompanying bulbar dysfunction with dysphagia and dysarthria and a combination of upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron signs on examination. Number two, myasthenia gravis. Ocular and bulbar manifestations are usually present. Neck muscle involvement is especially likely to occur in musk positive myasthenia gravis. Number three, inflammatory myopathies. Isolated neck involvement is rare and usually limb muscle weakness coexists. Number four, metabolic myopathies such as acid maltase deficiency. Here, diaphragmatic involvement is a clue. Number five, congenital myopathies such as adult onset nemaline myopathy. And number six, muscular dystrophies such as facioscapulohumeral dystrophy and dysphalinopathies. This is a picture showing dropped head syndrome in a patient with ALS. Note the wasting in the hand muscles. Another cause is B isolated neck extensor myopathy or INEM. This is a term used to describe non-inflammatory myopathy confined to the neck extensor muscles. This may account for more than 25% of the cases. A similar condition in elderly patients with paraspinal myopathy resulting in bent spine on standing has been termed the bent spine syndrome or BSS and is also called camptochomia. It is possible that these two entities may be different manifestations of an axial myopathy. Like DHS, the bent spine syndrome can also be secondary to neuromuscular and extrapyramidal disorders. These pictures illustrate the bent spine syndrome showing the flex posture on standing which abates when the patient lies down. Other causes of DHS include C extrapyramidal disorders. Anticholis has been described in Parkinson's disease, multiple system atrophy, dementia with Lewy bodies and cervical dystonia. In these conditions, there is unbalanced tone between the anterior and posterior neck muscles without weakness of the neck extensors. And D miscellaneous causes include post botulinum toxin injection, post radiation neck extensor myopathy and mitochondrial disease. Treatment. Any underlying cause should be treated. Number two, supportive care. Options for mechanical stabilization include removable soft or, or hard collars, halo vest, etc. Other measures include physical therapy, massage and analgesics for pain. Some cases of isolated neck extensor myopathy have been reported to respond to immunomodulatory treatment. The image on the left shows a cervical collar in place to correct the chest on chin deformity. This improves forward gaze and ADLs, but this kind of a collar may be uncomfortable in the long term. The image on the right shows alternative neck braces or supports which may be more comfortable.